Donachi Miyunabun, Tony Mida. Good morning, everyone. It's Tony. So today marks my first ever reaction to another K-pop artist being a soloist in particular, being Jamie. Now, I say soloist purely because we actually have reacted to Jamie in the past, being for a feature on Kang Danye's Waves, which if you want to go check it out, I will leave it linked in the description box. But apart from that, haven't actually really gotten a chance to appreciate and learn about her. And I know that she has quite a big following and she is quite big out there. So at the time of me listening to Waves, I had no idea who she was, but then and after that, I kind of started learning a bit. So very, very excited for this. And I happened to look at the teaser for Apollo 11, which is the single that she is releasing today. And I am very, very excited for it. The beat's kind of funky. It's a bit neat and it's very different. And what I recall from Waves is that she has very talented vocals. And as well, at the same time, she does a bit of rapping. So uh, she has a nice diversity in there. But I think the rapping in this case will be handled by none other than the Soju man himself, Jay Park. Very, very excited because this is also my first ever time reacting to a Jay Park uh, feature feature or even just a Jay Park song to begin with because I haven't yet looked at him on the channel. Yacht in particular is one of those big songs that just continuously plays in my playlist from time to time and I really do heavily listen to Jay Park's music. It's a lot of fun and everything he does is quite unique so I think that this collab is going to be a very powerful collab and without further ado guys let's get into it. This is going to be Apollo 11 by Jamie featuring Jay Park. Jinbi ready? She check! Alrighty let's get to it. Okay, so kind of like the teaser, a bit like nighttime vibes, a little funky still at the same time. And it kind of plays off the idea of like, you know, like an extraterrestrial. I think that's what we're seeing here. It's very soothing though, tone. Very, it makes a lot of sense. Like, you know, like late night working, it's kind of like that vibe. I like it so far. Smooth voice. Very smooth voice. So the underlying tone of the beat is still the exact same. You have the guitar playing the exact few chords that you have in the beginning. They're just adding a bit more of like a electronic or like bassy type of tone on top of everything. A bit more of a poppy tone on top of everything the moment she started singing. But it's really kind of like her voice that's really the main instrument here they're really like projecting that as like the main focus here because the beat's very simple it's kind of like drawn back a bit so that she has time and like a chance to show off these nice like smooth soothing vocals she has. That was a nice transition. It's very subtle though. It's not a huge drastic change from the first verse and it's really nice. It's very nice and her voice changed a bit with it too. Nice. I like it. I like this kind of like different kind of chorus that she has. It's a bit more feeling extraterrestrial almost. It has a bit of a different sound. It has a different funkier vibe. It has like these higher pitch like little like electronic beats that she has in the background. And the fact that she's changing her voice to do more like a higher pitch like singing voice, it I just adds to that effect of like a bit of diversity and a bit of like I want to say like alienness. <laughs> But it also just shows that she has really good control over her height. <laughs> I've seen this hallway in a lot of other videos actually. It's just very funny how like a lot of these buildings nowadays because I've seen like quite a few K-pop videos now. Like they've been reused in multiple other companies. <laughs> wow, she's really pretty. Really, really pretty. Oh, that was a nice high note right there. from the teaser okay so we got back a bit more of the bass because we got like the boom 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 now that's nice it's a nice it shows like a great night transition because everything else is like staying the same oh that was nice did you hear that that was like a little bit of like a kind of like almost dj or like mixtape rewind effect that they had yeah, they're right there. Whoop. 
It's, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's kind of like playing off of like this um, visual representation that we have here of like a track on play. I don't know why, but the beat sounds a bit Western to me. Not sure what it is. I have a feeling that maybe she dips her toes a bit in like a bit of like Western music also, I would feel like, or at least influenced music, because it does definitely feel like the beat has a bit of a Western pull from it and not just purely K-pop. Maybe Jay Park had an aspect of that. Ooh, it's J Park. Uh, is that or is that, oh, that's Damn, I was really expecting J Park to do some rap here, but I'm actually quite happy that he's doing more of a vocal type of styling for this song. It really suits the song, and it just allows him to show off that he's not just that rapper that everybody knows. He's also really. A vocalist at heart too and it's really nice like it's a smooth transition and i think that both of their voices play off well off one another it's really really soothing really nice and i think it's really perfect for like an evening vibe song and this is kind of like his rapping this is like his rapping part right here Jay Park kind of hitting a little bit of a high note there, really showing off the vocals. I really like it, especially coming off of that fast rap that he did. It's kind of cool that he's showing that he has the ability to change on a dime, change on like the turn of a knob from rapping to singing. <laughs> I like the transition into the chorus. She has some really nice high notes. So she's overlapping her voice on top of another recording that she has that's a bit higher or a bit deeper. I can't tell which one's actually the main focus, but the higher one is kind of being accentuated a bit by having a bit of a deeper toned one in the background of it. Or So it's like just kind of like creating a harmony between her voices. It's a nice effect that they're creating. It's very kind of like not noticeable to, unless if you listen to it very carefully. So it's a nice little thing that she's adding to this song. It makes it a little bit more kind of like grandiose her singing high notes here. <laughs> That's a bit of a dimension to it, I think. That's what I was looking to say. I think that was Jay Park's voice in the background too just now. You could hear he's like, yeah, 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 with along the Oh, is she the... Okay, um, so this is Morse code. I don't know if anybody knows Morse code. Somebody maybe wants to let me know in the comment section below what it means. I'd be quite curious to hear what you guys want to let me know because obviously I can't decode it right now, but it'd be quite interesting to hear. So, oh, so she's the alien actually. I guess in a way, she, I guess in a way she's the alien to the planet because she's going off into the space station. Very cute. Definitely like a song about like unrequited love, I would say like or forbidden or long distance love. I think that's definitely what it's like preferring to hear. It'd be very interesting to see the lyrics in like the um, cipher the um, whatchamacallit, the Morse code. So guys, this was my reaction to Apollo 11 by Jamie featuring Jay Park. Really sentimental song I find, like very chill, very relaxing, very soothing. You're definitely showing a bit of a different side to Jamie off of comparison to her last uh, project, which was a music video titled Numbers. That one was very poppy in your face, kind of. This one was very laid back, chill, and I think it really suited her voice in the beat overall, really lends itself to having her do some really nice vocal abilities there. So overall, a very awesome song. I 
I like the chillness of the beat. It's very simple. You just have like one or two strings off the guitar. And then it's really just like an addition or a subtraction of like, say, a more bassy instrument that we get in contrast to the verses to the choruses. And it's like a bit more of like a higher pitch tone in the choruses, which allows her to do more of like a more like, I would say alien-esque, like extraterrestrial kind of like higher pitch tone in contrast to what she does in the verses. So it creates a really defined uh, transition from the verses to the chorus, which I really do appreciate it, especially in this song because the beat does become a bit more funky in those sections too. So I really like how they played off of almost this like space extraterrestrial vibe that they have going on with the music video as well as the song. So it's a nice like reinforcement of that in uh, in particular i was really surprised with jay park's part like i understand we're in like a covid time so obviously he might not be able to make it in uh, appearance here but it's just not uh, that i think that having him sing is a big surprise because i was really expecting him to rap and knowing that when i heard this at the beginning of the song i was thinking it's like how are they going to make this work and i like how they went about doing it make the guy do some vocals really show off some nice vocal chops and show that he is a very diverse artist as well so really enjoyed this really nice collab and i definitely think that in the future this could be a really nice collab again what i heard was just really really pleasant to the ears so with that being said, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video reaction. And if you want to go check out my other reaction to Waves by Kang Daniel featuring Jamie, I'll leave it linked in the uh, comment section down below. If you want to go check it out, be greatly appreciated. But with that being said, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. Kamsanida. And as always, if you have any comments, questions, or something you want to talk, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. And I'll get to it as soon as possible. With that being said, guys, this is Mitoni. Annyeonghikaseyo. Goodbye. And I'll see you in the next video.